Good day, collective. This is a general and healing ascension message for all signs. Remember to only take what resonates, leave what does not. Personal readings are available. The links are in the description box below. Collective. Somebody has paid someone to try to bind you to them like today. Um, whoever this energy is, they've done this before. Had you in spiritual jail, stressed out, overwhelmed. Whatever has happened, some type of drama, conflict. They they paid somebody to try to put you back in spiritual jail and bind you today. Okay, so let's get an overall energy message. If you are an emperor, a divine masculine, you feel lack right now, or you feel like something's unfair, the universe just wants you to please use your emotional intelligence when you are communicating, okay? The universe knows you have to defend and protect yourself, okay? Someone's going to send you a message via text, email, or something like that could be someone you're in a relationship with or a partnership with or you were with the two of cups and the eight of cups you walked away from this energy already please use your emotional intelligence okay respond not react all right first card out we have temperance divine timing balance moderation what happened is when they previously did this binding spell collective the time came and it wore off you have judgment in the tower card. So I'm assuming you walked away from this individual with the eight of cups. And you no longer wanted to go down the path that you were going with this energy with the two of wands in reverse. Ace of cups in reverse. There's no longer love there with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Could have been a lot of financial loss or just the situation overall was unstable for you and you no longer wanted to deal with that. You caught judgment on it, changes occurred and this person once went and tried to pay um, for the wheel to turn back in their favor. Clarify the temperance energy. You got the tower again with the death card. The angels already cleared out the energy that this person was trying to have you bind it to or be in spiritual jail or feel, make you feel like you're in the five of pentacles. The universe that your guardian angels dropped the tower and put an ending to that situation. What's the eight of cups? Eight of pentacles. Queen of wands. Y'all walked away from somebody. And they went and paid for work to be done on you today. What's the two of rods in reverse? Eight of swords. You decided to take a different direction. Star card. Your divine path. Being on your path of destiny. Ace of wands. Being motivated to make some changes in your life. Six of Swords to go to calmer waters. Strength card to stand up for yourself. And then you got the Two of Cups and the Three of Cups. So maybe y'all already had another situation going on or you could be reuniting with someone else. Overall, though, it's a celebration because you walking from this energy was an action of self-love for yourself. OK, whoever the past person is. They're in the four of cups. They holding on and reminiscing to some things that you guys, I guess, did in the past. This person is in spiritual jail, especially for paying this practitioner to do this work because you walked away. Eight of swords. Yeah, you have the four of cups in reverse. You were already in your head feeling stuck in this situation. 
but the direction that it was going in you got the king of swords you use your intellect and listen to your intuition no i need to let this situation go knight of pentacles with the two of cups this relationship is causing me delays this relationship is keeping me slowed down with the nine of swords this relationship is stressing me out you got the king of pentacles in a full card here you're taking your leap of faith to go in another direction three of pentacles three of cups going to go work with somebody else but be conscientious because whoever you're going to go work with you got the high priestess and the devil card whoever you are going to go work with collective they are also toxic they practice sex magic with the strength card page of cups okay so just use your emotional intelligence use your intelligence king of swords when it comes to moving forward away from this person that's done paid somebody today to bind you whoever you are actually moving towards they are more toxic than the energy that you just left. Okay. Emperor. Okay. All right. What's the ace of cups in reverse? Thank you. Ace of cups in reverse. You have the two of swords. This, this energy. had you a little conflicted you didn't know what decision to make but it's because now i feel like you realizing it's because you weren't practicing enough self-care and self-love towards yourself but now i mean now you watching me as a tarot card reader page of pentacles and the empress the truth makes you a little down you feel disappointed with the five of cups emperor that's okay i mean you still moving forward two of swords Two of Swords is the Three of Wands. Something's coming towards you. Or either you're going to be doing some traveling. What's the Three of Wands? You got the King of Wands. Divine Masculine. It could be another masculine that's trying to come towards you, but he's low vibrational. King of Wands. Yeah, you got the Nine of Wands. It's an, it's some masculine energy coming towards you, Divine Masculine. This person knows that the whoever this individual is, it's a childhood friend of yours. It's the King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Nine of Swords, right? This person was supporting that toxic, uh, the toxic relationship. This person knows you're about to take a leap of faith with the full card in another direction. This person wants you to still be stuck in toxic sex energy. Six of Cups and the Three of Cups. This person still wants you to deal with basically sluts and whores. Okay, so be conscientious of this masculine energy. That's for one of you. Um, somebody has put a an ending to their like, you know, player ways and stuck in a lustful energy. You are gonna have a good healthy relationship coming your way, okay? You could be a wounded Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Masculine energy. You have a healthy relationship coming your way since you went ahead and cut ties to this um this uh this energy that wants you to not use your highest and greatest good that was manipulating you. There's also um a hierophant could be a religious person or a religious teacher it's a cancer pisces scorpio feminine a virgo feminine and then there it could be that gemini masculine energy that always comes out um these people are under judgment for being in the five of swords one to win at all costs have hollow victories and things like that they were practicing outdated beliefs okay they watch my they watch my channel as well So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, masculine energy that's like feeling like they have to prepare for another battle. Maybe you do know somebody like you felt some type of way today and you knew like, damn, this bitch done pay somebody to do some work on me. Once you acknowledge it, that breaks the spell. So it's it's not even going to reach you. Your angels already dropped the tower on the person that got paid to do this shit anyway. They very well could pass away. Um, but healthy relationship coming for you. To my other masculines that's like just free and doing a thing be conscientious because you're gonna you coming across karmics that are spiritually worse than the karmic that paid to have you binded again today or just put in spiritual jail okay 
that same energy of the karmic until you actually clear your energy of that past person collective you're going to meet that same energy in different females bodies in each situation or each occurrence that you have spiritually it's going to drag you down it's going to cause you to descend and not ascend okay let's get to the ten of pentacles in reverse what does my collective need to know about the ten of pentacles in reverse we have the will of fortune four of pentacles knight of pentacles if you've been going through instability financially and just overall you know it was because of magic seven of wands with the ace of swords seven of wands magician ace of swords with the three of swords somebody disenfranchised spiritually and materially um just wants to hold on to you you have a destiny for you i feel like after a long time with the knight of pentacles you're realizing this person was holding on to you because they cannot stand on their own there is they cannot create anything for themselves you on the other hand you have strength you have vitality clarify the death card Oh, you got the emperor in reverse, but it fell over here with the queen of wands. It could be an Aries female collective that watches you. It's an Aries female that sends some conflict, but trying to use their intuition. But they're under judgment right now and getting fast communication that they're overwhelmed because who they had sex with and wanted a family with and seeing themselves as wish fulfillment. The truth is the universe wants this person to um, wants to protect you from that energy. That's for a Aries feminine. So Aries feminine. You're nine of cups, ten of cups. That person is a nine of wands, very sexually active, a wounded warrior, and spiritually is emperor in reverse, okay? So just take that how it resonates for you. Don't be no damn fool. What's the death card? Yeah, you got the five of swords and the five of wands with the world card. Collective, it's the ending to all that drama and conflict and manipulation. A narcissist failed today. Yeah, a narcissist failed today. World card, page of swords, gossiping, lying, stalking ass, ten of swords, harsh, painful ending. Divine masculine, please take your leap of faith and new opportunity to have a better life with the six of wands, good news, success, and victory. Do not take this for granted, okay? What does my collective need to know about this Queen of Wands energy? You got the Seven of Swords. A karmic female is lying to you about their money situation. It's a secret. They've gotten money from another masculine divine masculine that they. This karmic female got money from another man to pay for the spell work on you. I also feel like a masculine walked away from a feminine energy because this feminine energy doesn't do anything but lie, cheat, and steal. What's the four of cups in reverse? Letting them past memories go. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of swords. What's the three of wands? Oh, the Empress. Damn, Divine Masculine. Well, whoever was hoping to travel towards or get in a new relationship. Ju okay, just a second. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So, Three of Wands, the Empress. So, to my Masculines that were in a stalemate or at a crossroad, not knowing which decision to go, with the Three of Wands... I feel like if you are ready to actually practice self-care, self-love, cleanse your energy, the universe is going to bring you a empress, your empress, or either you're going towards an empress. Take it how it resonates for you. With the four of wands, 
I also get the energy that somebody that does need to practice self-care and self-love. You have some negative energy in your aura right now, possibly caused by Libra energy with the two of swords moving forward with the three of wands. You're waiting for an empress. I guess you're waiting for union with the four of wands with this empress. You have to move out of that stress, um, stress and overwhelming energy. Okay. Do some meditation and some clearing. If you do want to travel towards your empress, or go in union with your empress. You have to cleanse your energy. What's the four of pentacles? You got the king of wands. The knight of cups. Seven of pentacles. And then the five of pentacles. So masculines. Remember I told you. That another masculine. Wants you to stay stuck. In a lustful energy. Low vibrational energy. This person is going to try to get you to really invest your time and energy with the seven of pentacles with another five of pentacles energy. Do not go for it. Like one of y'all friends or relatives or whatever is really going to try to get you to marry somebody that's in the five of pentacles. Don't do it. Maybe you already was working with this person or talking to this person with the three of pentacles. And the three of swords, you're going to end up taking more losses, okay? What else does the collective need to know? What about this seven of swords? You got the devil. Collective, y'all walked away from a lion ass devil that's paying to do work on you. And they under judgment. Could be an Aquarius female, a Pisces female. These females could be relatives with the Ten of Cups or either relatives of someone that you know. The King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. It be your own people. What's the Ace of Swords? Judgment. Truth is, they all go be experiencing karma and judgment. You're having a spiritual awakening in a high vibrational way. These people, not so much. Clarify the Empress. If you're a, a divine feminine, you're going to have some communication come in quickly to you. Okay. Possibly from your divine masculine or from a masculine energy. Okay. About a long term commitment. But just know that this person is very stressed and overwhelmed. If you do decide to go into a healthy partnership or relationship, it will be six of wands energy. Good news. Ace of pentacles with the emperor and justice. Okay. Page of Wands, Divine Feminine. You're going to get communication. Say this masculine is making their way towards you, but not quite. Say they got some other karmic things to work out. One of these karmic people, male and or female, are going to try to reach out and contact you. Okay? So just be prepared for that. They might be like, oh, your, your divine masculine has sex with me and blah, 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 blah. And he pay for pussy or he give me money and just talking crazy. Okay. <laughs> Six of swords. Either way I go, I'm still moving forward. Nine of pentacles. Single or not, I'm still on my own. Ace of wands. I'm still my own magician doing my own thing. Page of pentacles. You messaging me, telling me you should sending me text messages and him giving you money for sex for what? Bitch, that's something you're supposed to keep in secret with the moon card. You getting paid to be a hoe, two of pentacles, eight of wands. And everybody know that's how you pay your rent with the four of wands. Queen of swords, three of swords. Heartbroken as fuck. Bitter energies, of course. Bitter feminine energies. Divine masculine. Y'all pissed some low vibrational females off. Um, to the point they went and paid for magic to get down on you today. You could be dealing with a cancer feminine. What's the sign of the uh, karmics? What's the sign of the karmics universe?
What is the sign of the karmics that paid for binding spells or to have people in spiritual jail today, universe? What are the signs? First card out is Libra. Because they out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. They lost. Who paid? You got Taurus, but Taurus is in reverse. Somebody tried to involve a Taurus, and the Taurus said, Bitch, I'm already in the Ten of Swords. Like, leave me out of it. Taurus said, Leave me out of it. I know I'm being watched. I manipulated some shit I wasn't exposed to. Ooh. Who are the karmics? Cancer. This Cancer Feminine, she's a herbalist. She does root work. I already, like, this Cancer Karmic, whoever has been watching me since I started, this Cancer Karmic does herbal work, sell teas and things like that. She about to have a tower, though. I think somebody got sick from her tea. Mercury, it's going to be some communication for that Cancer, that Cancer Karmic. Who was out here paying for binding spells and to have people in spiritual jail? You got Saturn. Karma. Just racking up karma. You got Virgo. That's getting karma for this. And Sagittarius. That's getting karma for this. That could have got that could have been who who helped uh these it could have been a Virgo and a Sagittarius masculine that gave this Libra money to pay for this spell work. Could have been a cancer that did the binding spell or hooked up with whoever, you know, or found the practitioner. I'm screaming. Not really, but oh trifly, trifly. So, maybe you're an Aquarius that needed to know this information. We got Earth, Fire, Capricorn in reverse. This just lets me know that a Capricorn at some point in time is a Capricorn female related to a Scorpio. She told this Libra she wasn't going to do it. So, this Libra communicated with a Cancer who communicated with a Scorpio. And a Pisces. This is just a mess. There's also a Pisces that is losing a lot of money and experiencing bad luck right now. They could be about to lose somebody in their family because it is stupidity. A Capricorn. Somebody is getting a message that they fucked up. If anybody accepted money from this Libra at any point in time, especially for the last three years, they about to get some messages. What's the leap? Yeah, they about to get some messages. Mature man came out over here with the page of wands. Somebody about to let this Libra know what the fuck, what the fuck were you thinking? Thoughts. What does the collective need to know about this Libra and the Five of Pentacles? The community is over here. We don't want any parts with whatever you just went and invested in with that Sagittarius. With the King of Wands, Knight of Cups, and Seven of Pentacles. A group of people said whatever you went and invested in with this karmic ass, another low vibrational masculine, we don't want any parts because we are already in bad health. We're in bad health because we tried to kill a divine feminine and it didn't work. Poverty with the five of pentacles. What's the, what about the Taurus in reverse and the ten of swords? What about the Taurus in reverse? Oh. Taurus in reverse and ten of swords, yeah. Despair. 
this tourist didn't want no parts because the person that the tourist was supposed to have a long-term commitment with hubby etc found out she a fucking karmic and destined to not have any wealth whatsoever so he kept it moving too she can't dig her hole any any deeper though what's the cancer mercury energy cancer mercury energy judgment once again this cancer under judgment for the money that they've been receiving, who they've been receiving money from, and also um, what they've been getting paid to do. Mercury. What's the mercury energy? Yeah. Mature man. I told you this cancer helps karmic feminines trap masculines with pregnancies and or relationships. And that truth is getting exposed. You got message and the courthouse. This cancer could be about to get taken to court. I get the energy that somebody got sick drinking their herbs or they teas or what have you, or either they've been under investigation for some for the um for the passing of way of somebody possibly during conflict or something like that during an argument or fight. If you're a divine masculine under judgment and you're a cancer, you just need to keep working on the addictions that you have, okay? You got to heal those addictions that you have and then you'll get great fortune. So if you're a divine masculine cancer watching and you're just manifesting, working on your communication and how you communicate and your favorite color is blue. Bye, birdie. You'll have great fortune come to you, but you have to heal the addictions that you have that keep you feeling in a mental in prison or just always in your head. Okay. What's the Saturn Virgo Sagittarius? Saturn Virgo Sagittarius. They about to get karma and they work relationships. You have journey. Somebody about to expose the truth about a Virgo and a Sagittarius. Their reputation and what they do and they possibly can go to jail. These this Virgo and Sagittarius, they travel. But when they travel to do things, I don't think it's positive. What's the Sagittarius energy? This it's a Sagittarius that wants to try to visit an empress, a divine feminine. But he's a masculine. He ain't no twin flame. Virgo, you can expect some type of truth and clarity to come to you um, under this period of karma and judgment as well. Yeah, possibly about some work. You got toil and labor and occupation. So if there was a Virgo doing work on you all collective, they are definitely getting karma. If you, yeah, because I asked who's the karmics. But if you're a Virgo, high vibrational masculine, the work that you have been putting in towards your reputation, you spend a lot of time in your head. Whatever you're expecting to come from that, you're thinking you don't even know what to expect. It's going to be positive for you. Just keep your eye on the prize. Mm, mm, mm. What the fuck? Collective, collective, collective. I had to get this message out. Karmic pissed off. That supply left. Y'all masculines left. Y'all use y'all intuition. Y'all paid attention to the signs and synchronicities to know it was time to go. And that got hoes in despair and poverty under judgment paying other people to do magic on you got other masculines like well shit how can i interfere with his journey he ain't gonna be a low down nigga like me no more and like i said it's a group of people that's like we over here sick as fuck right now just don't don't bother us that's how they feel don't bother us what does the collective need to know about this despair energy Yeah, they got a penny pinch in secret. Whether this person is a Taurus or not. Could also be a Gemini with the Ten of Swords energy. But nevertheless, um, you got the moon card and the four of pentacles. This person is in despair because they broke as fuck. And they trying to keep it a secret. What's the Libra 
poverty. What does the collective need to know about? Mm, you got the six of swords in reverse. This person is not going to be able to travel, get away, level up. They are not. It's something about them not listening to their own divine guidance. But I think it's been blocked, to be honest with you. What about judication? You got the knight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Whoever got paid to delay or interfere with somebody's choices and decisions when it came to how they love themselves or in a relationship, the devil is coming to collect. Mature man. Yeah. He said you can no longer try to cause imbalances to this twin flame journey or to this relationship or to somebody's stability. The devil coming to collect, possibly on a Virgo masculine, a Gemini karmic, and a Cancer karmic. Hell, he coming to collect on all these karmics. What we need to know about Virgo and Journey? What does the collective need to know about Journey? Yeah, precisely. So we have the Journey card for this Virgo energy. King of Pentacles. Hermits. And Knight of Wands. This Virgo, this Virgo energy, I won't say he's low vibrational, but all he's moving fastly towards is truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords and judgment at the end of the day. So depending on what type of energy or work, whatever type of work that this Virgo has been putting in, the karma can be good, the karma could be bad. I feel like it'll be good as long as you practice in self-love and self-care and giving out positive energy. Okay. Yes. Let the sun kiss me. <laughs> Sagittarius main male. Sagittarius main male that want to communicate with an empress. What? Yeah. Got some conflict and stuff going on. This Sagittarius tried to have an empress in a competition. With an empress in reverse. I see now. Yeah, they was doing spell work on me. I see now. I just want to know how to clear it. The truth is out. The only way for you to clear it, masculine, is self-care and self-love. Okay? The work that that Capricorn feminine did on you, she put some shit in your drinks. She stole energy from the actual divine feminine. That's why you feel so regretful right now. And want to take some type of empathetic offer towards this empress in the upright. But the universe go block you because the empress in the upright don't want, nothing, don't want nothing to do with you. You're a karmic. Community in reverse and bad health. Community in reverse and bad health. Yeah, I see the death card. Community in... We got the Ten of Cups. This group of people, Penny Pension. Oh, yeah, you got the Devil card. Oh, this Sagittarius masculine connected to the coven that tried to kill Divine Feminine. Who would have known? Chariot in reverse. Um, whatever plan y'all thought y'all could invest in with the Seven of Pentacles and the uh, Knight of Cups, it's not going to work. Whatever divine feminine this Sagittarius think he can go towards in this type of energy, it's not going to work. What else about the? You see it, right? Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity. It's not going to work. Hangman. It's not going to work. Somebody has seen something in the dream state. Cancer Capricorn energy seeing something in a dream state about some magic and they heartbroken or they're releasing some type of heartbreak now that the truth is being exposed I guess yeah with the ace of wands mm. this coven of people it's like half of them like fuck it just take our karma and deal with it the other half is like no we gotta do something them the ones possessed by the devil Mm -hmm. them the ones page of cups in reverse them the ones that do not have any emotional intelligence nor do they have any intuition they go take a leap of faith into a real uh <laughs> a real tower 
somebody gonna mess around and end up getting taken to court possibly for stalking and gonna end up in jail yeah whatever they trying to invest in king of cups in reverse seven of pentacles in reverse with the ten of swords somebody is really gonna try to um go through with a plan of theirs and it's gonna lead them right to court they go end up in jail or somebody going to jail <laughs> they got caught in a lie about who they were somebody caught them in a lie an attorney or a legal authority figure five of swords manipulation narcissistic energy king of wands in reverse mean ass bully four of cups in reverse six of wands nine of pentacles in reverse overall though collective despite this this fuckery going on masculines you guys are manifesting whatever it is you want when it comes to spiritual resources the right way i feel like y'all now understand you manifest out of ace of cups in the upright self-care and self-love that's how you manifest you don't need to sacrifice animals or have sex as a ritual anything that low vibing ass people have been telling you how to manifest money and things like that telling you you got to do all this crazy shit or drink blood or just weird stuff you don't you're naturally about to get the wheel of fortune in the upright this is the second time it came out despite the philosophies and laws that the people people chasers and clout chasers were trying to have you believe okay and just know they're watching you they're trying to find out who you're about to team up with but your angels and your ancestors is not going to have you feel sympathetic towards those individuals collective because they're unbalanced and you you have to take a break from these people because they've been lying and stealing from you for a very long time now the knight of pentacles then came out here a couple of times so just let them reap their karma for the magic that they did okay trying to bind you and put shit in your food and drinks just know that they're delusional at this very moment overwhelmed confused and stressed the fuck out especially this libra taurus virgo sagittarius and cancer okay collective that's the message i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe talk to you later bye